there are two listening exercises. Listen carefully and answer the question correctly. Do it honestly. Tell me something about the cuisine you prefer. My favorite uh, kind is my mom's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm used to and uh, prefer our Mediterranean cuisine. I love food uh, to be healthy, cooked and uh, try to mm -hmm. hold on to my eating schedules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all live a fast and busy life. Do you always manage to eat your meals on a schedule? Hmm. No. The problem is that uh, I don't always have opportunity to eat at certain timing due to the fast and dynamic lifestyle. I prefer eating several times a day at uh, least three or four times in smaller portions. And if you don't find the time, what is the alternative? Hmm. Very sadly, fast food is often an alternative. Oh. Or fruits and vegetables that can be a healthy substitute for other groceries. Well, that, that's better, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you eat at home, do you do your own cooking? Whenever I get the chance, I cook for myself. But if not, I can all, always count on my mom or my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes you cook by yourself. Yeah. Are you a traditionalist or do you like experimenting with flavors? I love traditional dishes, uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, with a little thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. you can add the new tastes uh, to the known meals. Mm -hmm. You know how all of the famous chefs are men. Yeah, I've noticed. What is your theory about it? <laughs> My theory? Some, somewhere I've heard uh, that the reason for that is because men are more imaginative uh, when it comes to cooking. Maybe the cause mm -hmm. lies is in the traditional views of our society. Mm -hmm. And how did you figure this? Hmm. In the minds of a great deal of people, there is still a deep tradition that uh, it's a woman's job to cook. Mm -hmm. And maybe women see this is an obligation instead of a way to express themselves. Okay, let me ask you something. You are young. A yeah. uh, rock musician. Hmm. I know it's necessary to maintain an image in these circles. So, does anybody poke you for uh, or because of your cooking hub? <laughs> no, no, no. My friends are, and family are pretty cool about it. Uh, mm. They all know and share my views about the fact that this is the era of individuality and no strict male-female divisions. Hmm, that, that's good to hear. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So, uh, one more question in the end. Name me your favorite meal. My favorite meal, my favorite food is chicken. Mm -hmm. In all variations, combined with Italian pasta, for example. Well, let's talk about simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Tell me something about the cuisine you prefer. My favorite uh, kind is my mom's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. 
I'm used to and uh, prefer our Mediterranean cuisine. I loved food uh, to be healthy, cooked, and uh, try to mm-hmm. hold on to my eating schedules. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We all live a fast and busy life. Do you always manage to eat your meals on a schedule? Hmm. No. The problem is that uh, I don't always have opportunity to eat at certain timing due to the fast and dynamic lifestyle. I prefer eating several times a day at uh, least three or four times in smaller portions. And if you don't find the time, what is the alternative? Hmm. Very sadly, fast food is often an alternative. Oh. Or fruits and vegetables that can be a healthy substitute for other groceries. Well, that that's better, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you eat at home, do you do your own cooking? Whenever I get the chance, I cook for myself. But if not, I can all, always count on my mom or my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes you cook by yourself. Yeah. Are you a traditionalist or do you like experimenting with flavors? I love traditional dishes, uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, with a little thinking outside the box, mm-hmm. you can add the new tastes uh, to the known meals. Mm-hmm. You know how all of the famous chefs are men. Yeah, I've noticed. What is your theory about it? <laughs> My theory? Some, somewhere I've heard uh, that the reason for that is because men are more imaginative uh, when it comes to cooking. Maybe the mm-hmm. cause lies is in the traditional views of our society. Mm-hmm. And how did you figure this? Hmm. In the minds of a great deal of people, there is still a deep tradition that uh, it's a woman's job to cook. Mm-hmm. And maybe women see this is an obligation instead of a way to express themselves. Okay, let me ask you something. You are young. Yeah. Uh, rock musician. Hmm. I know it's necessary to maintain an image in these circles. So, does anybody poke you for uh, or because of your cooking hub? <laughs> no, no, no. My friends are, and family are pretty cool about it. Uh, mm. They all know and share my views about the fact that this is the era of individuality and no strict male-female divisions. Hmm, that, that's good to hear. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So, uh, one more question in the end. Name me your favorite meal. My favorite meal, my favorite food is chicken. Mm-hmm. In all variations, combined with Italian pasta, for example. Well, let's talk about simplicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, fella, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Um, just wanted to ask you, what's your favorite movie? Okay, I have one all-time Indonesian favorite movie. Uh-huh. And it's called Lima Wanita, Lima Cinta, and Lima Cerita. What, what's okay, what's in, the name English of it in English? The translation would be Five Women, Five Love, and Five Stories. Uh-huh. W- w- was it, what is it about? Okay, it's, it's basically about five women with different love stories. Uh-huh. And one of them, um, her parents died when she was really young. Okay. And she couldn't get a better job, so she ended up being a prostitute. That's really sad. Yeah, it is. And the second one, she, uh, her husband had an affair with her best friend. 
And the third one, um, she couldn't get a boyfriend all her life. You know, she was really struggling to find the right guy. Uh-huh. And I think she was really busy trying, you know, to find the guy with that fulfills all her criteria that she ends up, you know, not finding anyone. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one, um, she got married only for 11 months. And one day before their anniversary, her husband died in a car accident. Oh. Yeah. It was a really sad movie, but, you know, you learn a lot from it. Yeah, it, it sounds really, really sad, really depressing. It is. I cried actually watching it. Uh-huh. You know, as a girl, you know, I learned a lot from it. And, you know, it opened my eyes to, you know, society and how women are, you know, treated and how they experience, you know, love stories. Okay, so how how did the movie, uh, how Indonesian people took the movie? How, how is, um, did they like it? Did they thought it was like only sad or did everyone thought like, oh no, we can learn from this? Well, I've read um, this website. They have, you know, many comments on mm-hmm. the movie. And I think most of the watchers were, you know, female audiences. And a lot of them really re- related well to the movie and they really took it as, a, you know, positive. But uh, so how, how is uh, how's the relation between like Indonesian movie industry and Hollywood movie industry? Which one is bigger? Well, I think... Uh, People in Indonesia are more attracted to Hollywood movies just because they have, you know, better storylines. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of us are really into, you know, Hollywood actresses and actors. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're more interested in watching Hollywood movies okay. than Indonesian. Okay. But the Indonesian industry is, st- is still... It's still really big. Really yeah. big. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Hey, fella, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Um, just wanted to ask you, what's your favorite movie? Okay, I have one all-time Indonesian favorite movie. Uh-huh. And it's called Lima Wanita, Lima Cinta, and Lima Cerita. What, what's okay, what's in, the name of it in English? English translation would be Five Women, Five Love, and Five Stories. Uh-huh. What, what, was it, what is it about? Okay, so it's basically about five women with different love stories. Uh-huh. And one of them, um, her parents died when she was really young. Okay. And she couldn't get a better job, so she ended up being prostitute. That's really sad. Yeah, it is. And the second one, she, uh, her husband had an affair with her best friend. And the third one, um, she couldn't get a boyfriend all her life. You know, she was really struggling to find the right guy. Uh-huh. And I think she was really busy trying, you know, to find the guy with that fulfills all her criteria that she ends up, you know, not finding anyone. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one, um, she got married only for 11 months. And one day before their anniversary, her husband died in a car accident. Oh. Yeah. It was a really sad movie, but, you know, you learn a lot from it. Yeah, it, it sounds really, really sad, really depressing. It is. I cried actually watching it. Uh-huh. You know, as a girl, you know, I learned a lot from it. And, you know, it opened my eyes to, you know, society and how women are, you know, treated and how they experience, you know, love stories. Okay, so how how did the movie, uh, how Indonesian people took the movie? How, how is, um, did they like it? Did they thought it was like only sad or did everyone thought like, oh no, we can learn from this? Well, I've read um, this website. They have, you know, many comments on the mm-hmm. movie. And I think most of the watchers were, you know, female audiences. And a lot of them really related well to the movie and they really took it as a, you know, positive. But, so how is, uh, how's the relation between like Indonesian movie industry and Hollywood movie industry? Which one is bigger? Well, I think uh, people in Indonesia are more attracted to Hollywood movie just because they have, 
you know, better storylines. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are really into, you know, Hollywood actresses and actors. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're more interested in watching Hollywood movies okay. than Indonesian. Okay. But the Indonesian industry is, is still... It's still really big. Really yeah. big. Okay. Okay. Thanks.